Hello everyone. This is our uh, Mars 1999 circuitry uh, replication. Only we're not using the inductor here. We're just using the uh, basically the Terra One uh, circuitry for the capacitive discharge or the JCBX. And here you can see we have our Firestorm spark plugs that we had specially machined and we are getting this baby to dump 220 from our inverter into our isolation isolation transformer and then that's coming down going through our bridge rectifier into a couple of uh, capacitors value Four hundred uh, volt. Um, Three hundred fifty microfarad, I believe. Sure. And then here we have a bipolar configuration. We have it in a bipolar configuration with our fat resistor, and then we have our diode bridge right there. Our 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 diodes we're using we're using big fat hockey puck diodes instead of a bunch of snake diodes like this which we've also done and it does make quite the heavy spark you'll see right now what they both look like when fired Can you hit the button? I'm going to spray some water on it. Flying. What's that? That spot one is flying. Sparks are flying, huh? So now we're going to spray some water on it. You can see that it intensifies the spark quite a bit. So you can see that it intensifies the spark quite a bit, but uh, we're still not able to get this engine to turn over with all that power coming in. So any help would be crucial from uh, Mr. Mars1999 or JCBX people or even capacitor 70. Um, any ideas would be great. We've been feeding water in through the fuel pump and that's been going into the carburetor and it's been pressurized with our little pump here rather than having a simple siphon thing that other people have been doing on the forums. Uh, here we have this fancy setup where we actually uh, weld it on a bracket to hold it a distributor because uh, as most people probably know there is a waste spark on pretty much all generators and you can't really control the timing so with our handy dandy uh, eight point distributor we ground off uh, all but two points so that we could have it for our two cylinder generator here and uh, yeah it's we have full control over the timing and there is no longer a waste spark again let's uh, see that beautiful spark just because it's so nice Plugs are a little wet right now. Oh, there we go. What you're seeing before is we actually had the inverter turned off. So now we'll turn the inverter off again and we'll show you the spark with just a normal ignition system. We actually don't have a completely normal ignition system. We're actually using a fireball uh, crane cam ignition system, which increases the voltage quite a bit, but uh, not enough to make a serious bang. So again, this is what the normal ignition system looks like. Barely there. And now we're going to turn the inverter on again and show you the incredible difference that it makes. Waiting for the inverter to turn on. Here we go. 
Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And any help at all would be incredibly helpful. We want to get this engine turning over and spread the word. Water power to the people.